Hi, I'm Naomi Lurie, Senior Product Marketing Director at TaskTop. Over the next few minutes, we'll be demonstrating TaskTop's integration solution for ServiceNow Agile development, which enables bi-directional synchronization between ServiceNow and 60-plus tools and systems. TaskTop extends ServiceNow ITBM's native integrations with tools like Jira and Azure DevOps to many other development and testing tools like Rally, Target Process, MicroFocus ALM, and Tricentis Tasca or QTest. In this demonstration, we'll focus on Rally and MicroFocus ALM. If you're planning development work in ServiceNow ITBM, but your development teams are executing that work in Rally, and a central QA group is creating defects for them in ALM, it can be challenging to keep switching back and forth between systems to try to get a clear understanding of the overall program work status. It would be preferable to have a single system of record where users don't have to swivel chair between multiple systems to get the full picture. TaskTop Hub for ServiceNow solves this challenge by letting teams continue to work in their tool of choice while seamlessly keeping data and colleagues in sync. TaskTop brings work from one system into another and it relays progress and status updates back to ServiceNow in the context of the work at the program and portfolio level. We'll view the demo from three perspectives. We'll log into ServiceNow as Eileen, a product owner who is responsible for tracking product progress and who relies on the ServiceNow Agile board to get visibility into her team's capacity to do work, to manage their backlog of stories, and to do sprint planning and sprint tracking. And we'll log into Rally as Giorgio, a senior developer on one of Eileen's teams, the Career App team. This team uses Rally to plan, build, and track their work. And finally, we'll log into ALM as Bob, a member of the Central QA team, who is responsible for testing the HR portal that Eileen and Giorgio work on. We'll see how the integration keeps the product owner, the development team, and the QA group all on the same page as they make changes and updates each within their own tool. So let's get started. Beginning on the Agile board in ServiceNow, Eileen, the product owner of the HR Employee Engagement product, is reviewing the stories being developed, the teams working on those stories, and the cross-dependencies between them. She's currently focusing on one of her teams, the Career App Team. She can see the planned work for upcoming sprints, which appear in the timeline along the top. Eileen sees that two stories are planned for the current sprint, Sprint 1, and two stories are planned for Sprint 2. Both sprints have a green gauge, indicating the load in each sprint is less than 100% of capacity. Now, switching over to Rally, Giorgio, a developer on the Career App team, can see the same four stories Eileen sees in ServiceNow. Giorgio needs to create a new story. He enters the name, Ability to Recommend Courses to People in Similar Roles. He adds a description. After completing a course, users can recommend it to colleagues in similar roles. He sets the plan estimate to eight points and slots the story for the Sprint 2 iteration, Career AD SO1 SO2. Behind the scenes, TaskTop is now flowing this new story over to ServiceNow, which we'll see in just a bit. Meanwhile, over in MicroFocus ALM, Bob, a member of the Central QA group, is running regression tests on the HR employee engagement product. Bob notices a few problems and logs them as defects. Bob doesn't know precisely which ops or delivery team will be working on these defects. He just assigns them to the HR project. The first defect Bob logs is an unexpected error for the career path selection. Bob sets the severity to high, the priority to high, and the project to HR project. He attaches a screenshot of the error and finally clicks Submit. Bob logs two more defects, one on the dashboard filter and one on the commission's inquiry tutorial. The three defects appear here. Note that the ServiceNow ID field is empty. A quick refresh, however, shows that TaskTop has flowed these defects over to ServiceNow and is now displaying the ServiceNow ID for these twin defects in case it ever needs to be referenced. Switching over to ServiceNow, Eileen's team is reviewing the new work intake for the HR Employee Engagement Program. The team backlog's triage board indicates six new defects have come in. The three defects Bob logged for the HR project appear here on the triage board. 
Going through these defects, the team identifies that the unexpected error defect needs to be assigned to the career app team's backlog. The team selects the defect and adds it to the backlog a centralized backlog that contains records of different task types, such as stories, defects, enhancements, and tasks. Once on the backlog, the defect has a new story associated with it, which Eileen assigns to the career app team and gives two points. She slots it for sprint two. Next, Eileen toggles to the program board to review the workload on the career app team. She can see four stories in Sprint 2 now, including the new ability to recommend courses story that Giorgio added earlier in Rally, and the unexpected error defect she just assigned, which originated in ALM. Eileen can see that Sprint 2 has become overloaded. The four stories exceed the team's capacity to do the work in that sprint, indicated by the red gauge. To fix the problem, Eileen drags the ability to recommend courses story to sprint 3, which is currently empty. She puts a work note in the story, moving to a later sprint to prevent overload. Now, all the sprints are within the team's capacity to do the work. All the changes made in ServiceNow are automatically reflected back to Giorgio and the career app team in Rally. In Rally, Giorgio can see that the unexpected error defect is assigned to sprint 2. The defect has all the details he needs, including the attachment. He also has the defect ID from ALM in case he wants to refer to it when collaborating with Bob. Flipping forward to Sprint 3, he can see the ability to recommend courses story appears there, and under discussions, he sees the note from Eileen about why she moved the story. He replies, appreciate that, to Eileen. Now, let's fast forward in time. Sprint 2 is over, and Giorgio and team are working on Sprint 3. When Giorgio sets the ability to recommend Courses Story to complete, over in the ServiceNow program board, Eileen can see a check mark on the story. Tasktop's integration for ServiceNow provided Eileen and her development teams with the real-time information they needed to work and collaborate efficiently, regardless of where work originated, where it was assigned and planned, and where it was ultimately executed. Three critical teams collaborated seamlessly, never having to leave their tool of choice, never having to copy and paste information, and never having to send an email. For more information and a personalized demo, visit tasktop.com.